So recently, Doreen Ryder made a video that I found interesting. And I could add, add something to that. So it looks like he finally took the advice of some of his trolls and decided to get a checkup from the neck up. Get a psychological checkout. Check out this clip here on of his video. He couldn't get an appointment. <laughs> Cleaning it up, so I rang him up. Said, "Hey, I've got had an appointment booked. Uh, have I missed it?" And then, like, typing in, "No, sir, your appointment is for April. Get this, not April 2014, April 2015. That is how many neurological issues we have here in Australia. And there's fuck." Wow, that's a lot of 80 10 tenors out there. Wow. Out <laughs> goat's milk, cow's milk, bestiality foreplay. Oh, um. For, for, for brain function. A lot of 80 10 tenors out there. <laughs> in Australia, we smash in the meat. Fuck all vegans in Australia. We smash in the meat. In Australia, it's the most redneck country on earth. I'm Aussie. I was born here. I will fucking say, as a 37 year old, Australia is the fucking biggest redneck nation on the planet and we eat the fucking we smash the meat we probably eat more meat than any capital of the planet man so he's basically talking about the craziness that's going on with humanity a lot of people have noticed this i certainly started noticing four years ago i was really noticing also 10 years ago when i moved to washington I noticed a difference up there. <laughs> Yesterday I spent too many hours on this message board, city data, the health section, then <laughs> the political section. And I'm noticing the similarities again. And, it, and I left a message over in the political section. It says, this is crazy. I don't even understand the comments I got. It's rhetoric. And and what someone called silliness, he was, I think, talking about me. You see, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Right now, it's up to the pilot to come forward and say, I have a mental health issue, I need help, I'm depressed, etc. He says, that's not the way to do it. Who in their right mind would just come forward and say, yes, I need help. I I'm not saying President Obama is the Antichrist. In fact, I'm sure he's not, because the Antichrist is going to have higher poll numbers, according to the Bible. I ate so much fat trying to hurt myself. Right now, for your enjoyment, I would leave five of these double cheese. Halfway into his speech, some signs came out. Sit down and shut up. Chris Christie gets Jersey fresh again. I'm a compassionate man. Are you are you stupid? You're in charge. Your job is to get something done. Sometimes it's by taking somebody out and giving them a beating. Look at the massive unemployment the market, within the EU. The market that is the effect of European to the EU Union regulation. All right, gentlemen. Let's remember those. So why not change policy now and help the less fortunate? Because it would be a huge mistake. It's estimated almost 500,000 vets got PTSD in Vietnam, yet hundreds of thousands of them are ineligible for treatment, which raises a fascinating question. What the f Because this is who we are. We are the most compassionate nation on earth. Here, the single greatest society that man has ever known. If you're such a tree hugger and a cattle lover and a pig lover, and all that stuff, but personally, I don't give a shit. No matter what they eat, I don't even give a crap, but I don't judge anyone either. I don't even really value my own opinion. And then this girl comes up to me and she goes, those panties look better on you than they would on me. <laughs> <laughs> I want on a very, very, very high fat diet. I'm also still working on regenerating my brain. But you've got proteins and fat and fat and fat and fat and fat and fat. And so I would eat the eggs and it would stabilize me. That's craziness.
Um, it seems like now they're just happy if they confuse you, play mind games with you. <laughs> it's pretty sad. And when you consider all the people that didn't vote, we're headed towards a disaster. And I also said, you know, the health farm is bad enough. <laughs> That's Health and diet has become politicized. The, the political forms are just crazy. There's no point in even going there. I stopped after the last election. Just left it behind. And I'm concerned that the same thing might happen with health. Because it's all just seems crazy. And I wonder if all my typing and videos has really made a difference. Because people seem to not have be open to ideas. Either they watch a video because it agrees with what they want to believe, or they watch it because they disagree, and they can just give it a thumbs down and move on to the next video. And I've been wondering where I'm going to be going with my videos. Who, who do I focus on? Who do I try to reach? And do I try to even reach people? Are, are people, are the successful people on YouTube just preaching to the choir? Unfortunately, I care what people think, so I'd like to hear what you think. Do you agree with what I have said? Or have you seen a lot of people that are willing to just listen with an open mind and then actually change their lifestyle for the better? How many people out there really care? And are the ones who care, do the ones who care vote? Not just on elections, but voting right on the internet, YouTube. Clicking thumbs up is a vote, thumbs down. Subscribe, unsubscribe. There's people unsubscribing to that, that guy who said he doesn't vote. I see they're voting. <laughs> He's getting the effects of voting right there. And just watching a video is voting. What we, everything we click on, we vote. So what do you think? Should I have more subscribers or what? Should I have more views? Should I have more views than Dan? Dan? <laughs> I'm doing bad compared to Dan. But he's doing bad. Compared with... Uh, this, that 500 pound guy, Boogie, I, I still don't really understand what he does or why he has a million subscribers. <laughs> somebody tell me. Somebody fill me in on all this.